do you know that the Earth is a sphere? I bet so. But if you take this sphere and you split it into a lot of globes, which are 6 degrees wide, and then unroll these globes into a paper, um, a paper piece, you may get something interesting. This is called UTM projection. Let me explain that. The Universal Transfer Mercator is a projection that is used to map the, the 3D surface of the Earth into a 2D map. It uses meters as the unit of measure and how it is obtained. So, take the Earth, split it into 60 pieces. Six, like you have an orange, you take uh, 60 uh, cloves of the, the Earth, each one is 6 degree wide, so if you have the meridians which are 360, you will get 60 um, pieces, and each one is centered on the center meridian, so you ha will have three to the left and three to the right. And this is done using a cylinder. So you have a transverse cylinder on the Earth, which is centered on a meridian, and then you unroll this cylinder. Let me show you. This is our globe and this is our uh, cylinder, so if you cut the cylinder into the poles and you unroll it, you will get um, a slice. The slice is narrower near the poles and wider at the um, equator. Once you have unrolled all this and make it square, you can have a map of the the area here, but it is this it is distorted as you can see in this uh, file, in this image, you will get more and more distortion when you move from the equator to the poles. And after doing that, uh, you, you will know that you don't need to use UTM if you have a very wide region to map. You will need to use something else because you have a lot of distortion um, if you draw a thing here or if you draw a thing here. So uh, this is uh, not the best one for very wide range. And you may choose using this grid which one better fits you. So it also called Mercator because as it uh, uses a concept that uh, has been used by Mercatore, so uh, but it, it is transverse, so you will get a rotation of the cylinder which is unrolled over the earth, and you will get 61 because it's rotated every six degrees. So that's uh, that's all for now. This is how the UTM works. I hope uh, it has been useful to you. Remember to leave a comment if you want and click that like button, please. See you.